Hey guys, it's Gilbert here from Dev7 Studios and we're just um, going to go have a quick run through at setting up um, WP updates. So we're just going to run through how simple this is um, to, in this case, um, set up w WP updates with your theme. So when you sign up for WP updates, you'll be presented with this screen, this dashboard. Um, and really it's, it's dead simple. So all we're going to do here is you're going to add a theme. In this case, we're just going to give it a name. Um, you can give it a theme URL if you want, but you don't need to. Um, this will actually show when you click show version details in WordPress, this is the URL that it will show. And we're going to leave that for just now though and just click add. Um, and we've created this theme WP updates test. Um, and what you can do in this screen is add your versions to it. But before we do that, we're just going to quickly um, set up our theme just now. Um, so we've got a theme installed in a WordPress. We've got WP updates test. It's at version 1.0 just now. Um, and what we're just going to do is set that theme up um, with WP updates. So the um, first thing we need to do is download the theme updater class from GitHub. Um, as you can see, it's the class is all provided for you. You don't need to do any coding. Um, and we're just going to save that file in this theme folder, in the root folder. Um, and that's it saved. So then the next thing we need to do is open up our functions.php file from that theme and copy and paste these two lines of code. That's literally all you have to do to get your theme up and running. So we're just going to copy this. We're going to go into our theme functions.php file, which we've got open here. Um, just to check, we do have the WP updates file there. And um, we're just going to go in, we're just going to put these two lines that we got in the top of the functions.php file. Now you can see here there's a URL for the um, API, the theme ID that um, WP Updates gives you when you create your theme goes in there. And um, if you want to know more about this um, constructor or this class and how to use it, you can see the documentation. But that's us for the moment. So um, save our functions.php file. And now our theme is ready to go. That's it. That's all you have to do. Um, so I'm going to go back here. Just going to refresh this. And um, it's still version 1.0. So what we want to do is we've um, coded something in our theme. We've made an update. So really what we want to do every time that you've made an update, this is the kind of workflow. So we add a new version. So in this case, you know, we've done some tweaks. We want to upload this new version of the file. It's going to be version 1.1. And you can put some version changes in here. Um, this, what happens with these version changes it, is that it dynamically creates a change log for you. So you, you don't have to maintain a separate change log somewhere else. You can just put the version changes for each version in here um, and we'll dynamically create a change log for you. So we're just going to upload this update here. Give it a second. And lo and behold, Here's our, our version. So you, you, WP Updates provides a few kind of stats about it. You'll be able to see how many people have downloaded it. And um, you can obviously edit the version, delete versions, manage versions as and when you need. Um, but that's it. That's, um, that's us ready to go. So yeah, so we're just going to go back into WordPress now. Um, and when you refresh the themes page, you're just going to see now that there's an update um, for our theme available. So what we're going to do is literally just Hit update now, hit OK, give it a second, and when we return to our themes page, we'll see that we're at version 1.1. And, and that's it. Um, that's as simple as it is. Um, literally takes a couple of minutes to set up and get going. Process is almost identical for plugins. Um, yeah, and we just hope you get as much benefit out of it as we will um, in the future and for our own plugins. So um, cheers, guys, and enjoy. Thank you.